Hey everybody, I have been wanting to do a video of my Bissell Crossway for a while now. I've owned it for a couple of years, so this review will be able to tell you what it's like to own for a couple of years and how it works on the floor. And uh, I apologize, I do have a dog, so there's dog hair everywhere. But the good news is, I will be able to show you how awesome this vacuum is with dog hair. And we're going to put it all together, and then I'll show you how it works. And then we're going to disassemble it and I'm going to show you how to clean it. And it's really not that scary and not that hard to rinse off and put up when you're done with it. I have the, um, right here on it, is the carpet attachment so that you can do your carpets. And then I have the attachment over here. Uh, it's really hard to point. There we go, right there. The attachment for doing the hardwood. So we've got hardwoods and we've got carpets and we're going to work through all that and show you how this Bissell Crosswave works and what it's good at. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with putting it together and then we'll go from there. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is attach your brush and you can choose this one or this one. And this is for the hardwood and it does get grody. You're eventually gonna have to get a replacement for it. Um, I do try and rinse it off and wash it with like dish soap afterwards, but um, I don't always do that if I'm making confessions here. But um, this is for the carpet. It's a lot easier to push on carpet. You can use this on carpet, but it is really tough sometimes and hard to push. But we're gonna attach this one because I wanna show you how it works on my uh, dog hair rug. It's full of uh, dog hair. And then we're gonna take our cross wave cover here and it just snaps in like that. And then we need to take this, and this is where the dirty water goes. And don't forget to put your filter here, and you may have to buy a new filter occasionally as well. And it opens up like this, and it just sits in here. I did accidentally do the floors once without this filter in, and it did okay, but it, um wasn't sucking water correctly and it just wasn't working right. So you do want to make sure you have that filter in there. And then this comes out, so you have your bucket of dirty water when you're done. And then it comes and snaps in just like that. Now the last thing you need to do is you need to take this bucket and you need to fill it up with water and with your cleaning formula. And I've used the multi-surface and I've used the wood floor one. Um, they're both great. I've used the wood floor on carpet and I've used the multi-surface on carpet and uh, wood and you know, you really can't go wrong, but I do like to use this for my wood floors. And then you have the multi-surface one which has a nice smell to it. And uh, I use that for the rug. It does have a marker here. Let me see if I can get you to see that. So. You've got water and then you've got formula. So you're gonna fill it up to water here and then finish filling it up to formula here. If you're doing a lot of cleaning, you're gonna go all the way up here and you're gonna to go to water and finish filling up to formula here. And since I'm only doing a little cleaning today, I'm gonna fill it up to the water line here. And then I'm gonna finish filling it up with the cleaner until it reaches this line. And so let me grab my multi-purpose cleaner. And now that that's done, we're going to screw this little lid on and we're ready to put it in our mop. You just turn the mop around like this and it snaps right in, just like that. And you're ready to go. So we're gonna go plug in and go clean a rug. All right, so I'm so sorry. Yes, this is my filthy rug. It leads to my garage, so it gets the dirtiest of all of them. And it was just cleaned literally two days ago. So, whoops. But anyhow, we've got our cross wave and I'm gonna put my foot down like this. Snap it back. And then on the handle, we have a button that says hardwood and we have a button that says rug. The hardwood floor button will not release as much liquid so that don't you, so that, ugh, sorry, tongue twister. So that you don't get your hardwoods 
soaking wet because obviously water is not good for hardwoods. The rug will let out more liquid so that you can clean your rugs really well and have a little bit more liquid flowing through. So we're gonna use the rug button. And it's really loud, so I won't be doing a lot of talking during this part of the video, but just watch and it will do the talking for me. There you can see a little before and after. Uh, you've got the clean side on the right and the dirty side on the left. And we're gonna go ahead and finish it off and do the left side now. Ta-da! Look at that awesome light clean rug. It picked up the hair, it kind of gave it a rinse over. I love what it does for my area rugs. It does a really good job of picking up the dog hair, the leaves, just anything you've got laying around, crumbs. But enough talking, let's go ahead and try it out on the hardwood. We do need to change out our brushes and to the softer brush and then we'll go do the hardwood. So I'm gonna snap this back off. That. We're going to take this brush, sit it over here, and we're going to snap this one in. And the only thing you didn't get to see is that after I press the rug button on the handle, there's a trigger button that you press in the handle that uh, initiates the water coming out. So you do have to press that little button under the handle if you want water to come out. If you don't press that little button under the handle, it will just suck and vacuum. So sometimes I use that to suck up extra water that's gotten on the floor and things like that. But let's snap this back in and go try it on the hardwood. Well, I waited until my kids were done with breakfast because that's when we have the most mess under the table. And I've scooched the table over and we're gonna go ahead and vacuum up all these toast crumbs that are on the floor. So let me grab the vacuum and we'll get started. This time we're gonna press the hardwood button and the trigger for the water is under here. So here we go. It is phenomenal for cleaning up hardwoods quick. Instead of having to take my vacuum or my broom and sweep through everything, clean everything up, then get out a mop bucket, fill it up with water, fill it up with this, and mop the whole floor. I mean, you're looking at twice the work. I can run this thing through my entire hardwood downstairs and it vacuums and mops at the exact same time. It's incredible. Now the one place that it struggles with and I have to sometimes go back through with a washcloth or a wipe or something is the edges. The edge line isn't always great because it can't get up close. Um, I'll actually show you that real quick. I know there's a reflection, but it cleaned up all the way to here. So this is the section right here that it cannot reach. And if you want that clean, you need to go back through with something else. For me, it's not much of an issue. As long as I can clean the gigantic amount of the rest of the hardwood that I have, that little section is not going to bug me. And I'll go back through with something if I need to. 
when we're all done, I usually bring it over to the sink. I know it's gross and it's disgusting and it's been on the floor. And I just set it on my sink. But I promise I clean everything and disinfect everything when I'm done. If you want, you could do it in the tub. But my tub's upstairs and this is just easier for me downstairs. But um, we're going to take this off. And sometimes I even sit it in the sink. You can do that. I sit it down. Take this part off. I just kind of disassemble the whole thing and you can see that we have some dirty water in there even though we only did it for just a little bit now when this gets full and usually this part gets full before you actually run out of cleaner in the back you'll hear a whooshing sound like like it's sucking but not getting any air and that usually means this is full so just empty it and then it'll work good again and it's just the sign that this is full the other thing is, when this is full of hair and grossness, I'll dump it outside so that it's not clogging my drain. I do have a disposal, but I try not to put it through the disposal. And we're going to take the back part off and empty that out if we didn't use it all. Or if you're planning on mopping again soon that same day or the next day, you can save it for a little bit. And then... I'm going to come around this side. What I'll do to clean this part out is there's a small hole right here and I run water through it and it runs out here. And that cleans out that whole part in there. Rinse it off here. And at that point, the main part of the vacuum is done. So I can shake it off so I don't drip water all over my floor and it comes with a plastic tray that I sit it on in my closet. So we're all done with this. I'm gonna get that out of the way. So now basically it's really simple. You just rinse everything off. I rinse this out, run water through it, make sure I got all the soap out. Rinse the lid off. Sometimes I'll have a towel on the counter where I lay everything and let it dry. I've been using this for about two or three years, and so far this has kept everything in good shape, just rinsing it off afterwards. This part is the one that gets the grossest. And I will take a little bit of soap and kind of go like this. Sometimes you have to detangle some hairs from it, depending on what you have on your floor. But this really helps to refresh it, and I have yet to replace this. This is the original brush that came with my vacuum. I haven't even bought an extra one because this one's doing so good. Then this part, we just rinse out the filter. And this is the part that I need to replace soon. I think mine's starting to get pretty old. This, like I said, I normally dump outside, but today it was just a little bit of nothing. So we're gonna dump that down the disposal. And we're done with rinsing. After that, I stack everything on a towel, let it dry, and then pack it up in the closet. I've got her all packed up in the closet now on the little plastic tray that it came with. And I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.